Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows 2003 Server on Windows 10. So let's begin. Let's double click on VMware Workstation. And then we're going to click on Create New Virtual Machine. You can either click it here or you can go to File and Create a New Virtual Machine here. I'm going to leave it by default, typical. Click Next. I am going to use an ISO image. I go into my ISO folder, server, to the side, and I'm going to use the 2003 Enterprise 64 bit version of Windows 2003. So we have to put the product key in here. So let me see, I'm going to look for one, copy, paste. And then I'm going to create a password. Two, three, A, B, C. One, two, three, A, B, C. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna click next. Um, this is fine. I'm gonna just keep it by default. The location will keep it by default. Um, if you want, guys, you can actually change the location of where you wanna um, save your virtual machine. What I'm gonna do is click on next. Uh, Forty gigs is fine. And I'm going to store the virtual disk as a single file and then click next. Then if you feel like modifying your virtual machine, feel free. You can add more processing power, more memory, close, and then finish. If I can install the VMware tools. So what we're gonna do is right click settings. Oh, the tools are being installed. Okay, good, good, good. I'm not saying anymore. Let's see if it works. Cause I've been having issues with the VMware tools in some situations, not all. All right, so I just finished installing the VMware tools. Let's send the command, then control delete. Type in the password that you created before. And there you go. And this is how you install Windows Server 2003 on Windows 10. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.